Hi guys, I've been on YouTube for quite a while now and I've realised by watching a lot of the other videos out there that these haul videos are very popular. So I've decided to do one for you, but as you know, I am very fashion unconscious. So um, what I'm going to do for you is a haul video that is a little bit different. It has kitchen equipment involved and one of my favorite obsessions is uh, collecting old vintage equipment so i thought i would show you one or two of the things that we picked up during the summer we go to all these like charity shops and vintage fairs and things like that and we picked up a whole load of things so i thought we i don't know how to do one of these maybe i just pick up something and show it to you so here's one thing this is a pot we picked up it was seven euro about seven euro and um, it's a really nice looking pot it's got i use a lot of these for food photographs so they work really well and then if found this really cool selection of kind of enamel pans and enamel roasting tins which are pretty cool as well i actually found these in this kind of barnyard there's in sweden they have this lopis it's called lopis and you pick up all these kind of old bits and pieces but i found that there and um they were literally just about to throw it out it was in bits my other obsession especially when we're doing food photographs is vintage plates Vintage plates are one of my favourite things to collect and I have a ridiculous amount and as you can see they're all kind of badly displayed here behind me um, but these lovely plates we picked up they have kind of a nice little flower motif I don't know where they're from they are from Sweden, Sweden and each one of these cost 50p how good is that 50 cent um, you know it, this is the great thing about these old places you can pick them up they don't cost too much and if they break it's not the end of the world I try not to break them and I do a little cry every time one does break um, but we got a nice collection of those there's a nice you know, one with the green swirl on it so good collection of them I'm always on the lookout um, for spoons and knives and forks and things like that. So we picked up loads of these old ones and um, they're great. I, I use them all for food photographs, but I have to say I've tried to start using them in my daily use in the kitchen because it's kind of fun to have them and they look old and they look pretty. Um, okay, what's this thing? Now, I don't really, this is kind of like, a, I don't know, it's a beer canister thing, but it looked really cool and I thought I would, I would get it. Um, and it says Gothenburg on it, which is where Sophie is from, so I thought it looked really cool. So we're going to put that in the garden. I think, I think it looks kind of fun. Um, okay, what else? What else? Oh yeah, we got some, um, some really nice old jugs and things like that. So um, for nice little, I don't know, when we fill them, we kind of use them. It's kind of nice. Um, that cost four, four pounds, which isn't bad. I mean, the great thing about all this um, charity shop diving is that it doesn't cost very much at all. Uh, okay, what else? Oh yeah, yeah, I have to show you this because this was my most exciting purchase. Um, this is a suitcase and I love suitcases. I love old suitcases. So, okay, I just try not to break everything here now. Let me see if I can open it for you. Look how cool this is. There's nothing in it, but the interior, how cool is that? You can carry all your vintage pieces. Kind of smells like an old lady, but I think that'll go after time. Um, but I don't think I'll be traveling with the, to the airport with this, but um, it's kind of a nice addition to have in the house and it looks kind of pretty too. Um, okay, oh yeah, we got, oh, don't, sorry, that's the suitcase just going down. And then we got loads of these little saucers. They're kind of nice, very nice. Um, and I love the little old patterns on them because they look really good in food photographs. And um, some nice old blue plates. If you're having afternoon tea, this would be the thing you might serve it up on. Um, what else? Oh, I was very excited. I found this in London um, in this very cool shop. I can't remember. It's in Shoreditch. But they, they pick out some kind of nice old vintage things as well as mix in with like modern things as well. And this was a kind of vintage milk bottle. They had a really good selection of them. Um, but I was very excited about that because you can, you can put milk in it and you can put flowers in it. You can put whatever you want in it. Um, so that's that. And then um, it was a really cool market in London, um, in Spitalfields Market. There was a really cool old little vintage stall that had great old kind of 70s jars. And this is one of the kind of 70s Kilner jar. I think it's 70s. Let me know if I'm wrong. But um, really cool old jar that is kind of old style that I hope I don't break now. But yeah, it's kind of fun. But these are the, this is the thing that, you know, you can buy all the new stuff in your kitchen and that's fine, but these old things just look really, really cool. Like this little cocoa thing that I don't know what exactly is, but you know what? It has multi-uses. You can put all sorts of things in it and now I have it in my house and that's what I'm going to use it for. Um, okay, and then there's loads. We got like loads of these old kind of uh, kitchen utensils, which always look really cool. That's whisk and there's this kind of slotted spoon and I love, love, love these spoons that have um, the kind of cracked paint on the top of them. They look really, really cool. Um, more of those, we got a nice little flipper. We got a nice um, potato masher. How cool does that look? They look really nice when they're hanging as well. 
Um, another whisk. Um, I do realize that I do have some sort of hoarding problem as I show you all of this, but um, it looks pretty so I can, I can deal with that. Um, a nice little fork thing. We got one of these kind of old coffee tins, nice flipper, and then just kind of nice, really old things. I kind of wonder if some of it's quite worth a lot of money, but um, if you spot something that's really worth a lot of money, tell me. Um, I'm not going to sell it because I am um, very fond of these things. So um, there you go. I think that was my first haul video, and um, I don't know if I did very well. Is this what you're meant to do in a haul video? Well, I've done it now, so let me know in the comments section below if I've done it right. Um, there is my kitchen, vintage kitchen haul. I hope Hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more, of course, click subscribe and you will see more. Leave me a comment below, like, share, do all those things. Bye bye.